but um the next two videos i think is kind of important um <laughs> the lgbtq attacks see if these sound familiar to you Another area of grave concern for Project 2025 is the proliferation of LGBTQ ideas and transgenderism, suggesting draconian measures that many critics are saying would effectively criminalize LGBTQ expression. As the foreword to the manifesto says, the next conservative president must make the institutions of American civil society hard targets for woke culture warriors. This starts with deleting the terms sexual orientation and gender identity, diversity, equity, and inclusion, gender, gender equality, gender gender equity, gender awareness, gender sensitive, abortion, reproductive health, reproductive rights, and any other term used to deprive Americans of their First Amendment rights out of every federal rule, agency regulation, contract, grant, regulation, and piece of legislation that exists. It goes on to say, pornography manifested today in the omnipresent propagation of transgender ideology and sexualization of children has no claim to First Amendment protection. Its purveyors are child predators and misogynistic exploiters of women. Their product is as addictive as any illicit drug and as psychologically destructive as any crime. Pornography should be outlawed. The people who produce and distribute it should be imprisoned. Educators and public librarians who purvey it should be classed as registered sex offenders. And telecommunications and technology firms that facilitate its spread should be shuttered. As far as I can tell, to them, pornography includes any discussion of being transgender or really discussion of sexual and gender identity, period, based on their reference to educators and public librarians who've been under attack for allowing children to check out such psychologically destructive books as And Tango Makes Three, a book about gay penguins and Sparkle Boy, a book about a little kid who wears a tutu. But the rape and murder in the Bible is fine and definitely requires zero therapy later in life. Let me say this real quick. <laughs> Outlaw pornography. And excuse me, because I know I'm working on this, so I'll use a more similar word than what's normally used. You are effing lie. You ain't gonna outlaw pornography. Are you nuts? It sounds real cute on a piece of paper, but you know and I know you wouldn't do it. The worst case scenario that you probably would come up with is... I can't even come up with anything. You wouldn't do it. Sorry, you just wouldn't do it. I'm sorry. Every time you say stupid stuff like that, I think about the Catholic Church. Where you have brushed up all the things that you keep protect the children. No, you kind of protected the church, the priests, and everybody else. The heck with the kids. You was protecting your power. So you kind of actually piss me off every time I hear out of your mouth protect the kids. No, you really don't. You just really don't. Because you try to have us forget about the Catholic Church, the, the um, I don't even know what you call it, the retraining camps that you have or the retraining schools to teach the gay out of you. Um, I'm forgetting a whole bunch of, but it had nothing to do with helping the kids. Well, nothing ever really has to do with any of those things. But unpopular opinion, probably. Oh, I, I done ran Marlon off again. <laughs> you, you didn't see my light turn off? I did. I didn't. I'm sorry. Yeah. But. Yeah unpopular opinion and i definitely have partaken in my fair share of adult entertainment but personally i don't think you should outlaw it um because i don't think it's a practical thing but I, I do think it should go back behind the paywall i think that it becoming so free and open and all of that was there was a horrible thing horrible and then I'm not just saying from a societal standpoint, which I do think is, is wrong to allow for the just the unfettered access to young people in the midst of their development, because it gives them completely distorted views of relationships. But 
it was dangerous to the people in the industry. Yeah. People aren't getting paid anymore because it's everywhere now. Mm -hmm. So they have to do more and more dangerous and riskier and different things just to try to get paid for something. So it's 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 to me, it's it's all bad. It's like trying to get me trying to justify um, gambling or something like that. I mean, I'm all for free choice and all that stuff. But I think that everything has its its limits and its range or, 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 or what have you. So. Yeah, I, I just. Whatever. But the problem is I can't hear from people like these yahoos um, because I know what their I know what their motive is. And that's where I, I wish people would pay more attention because they get they get locked into someone saying the thing that they believe in or agree with. And then they'll shut off any knowledge of everything else that they're doing. We see it all the time. Somebody will come to you and let's say your your pet project is criminal justice reform. And they come to you and they have a detailed plan on how they would help fix the criminal justice system. And you're like, finally, someone is saying what needs to be said. Yes. And then they have this thing over here talking about, you know, um, illegal immigrants should be forcibly detained for unlimited amount of time. And they got this thing over here saying that 10 year olds can go to work. And they got this thing over here talking about women should be seen and not heard. And they got, but, but they said the thing you like. So you roll with it. 